beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. I open up the gates of cities, the gates of territories, and I speak in the name of Jesus. A level of grace. May your saxophone stop being an instrument. May it become a weapon from today. A weapon of healing. You and your entire team let it burn like fire in your spirit like fire upon your spirit never to be the same you will sing with the sounds of the heavens and everybody that hears that sound will know that your communications are of the spirit there is a grace that lifts men you can try you can struggle you can beg you can connect no. see every time listen every time you see consistent results regardless of the situation there is an anointing please learn this there is an anointing there is an anointing that translates men swallows up the weaknesses of people may that be your testimony in the name of jesus christ god will give you wisdom let your ministry enter another dimension i pray for character for all of you see this is usually the problem listen let me i'm i'm teaching you are learning the most important aspect of the anointing is the character to maintain it not the anointing because you see the anointing is very charismatic the most powerful ability of a man of god is self-control the ability to keep quiet even when you have what to say the ability to walk within the jurisdiction of the grace apportion there are many of we people we don't have self-control especially over an opportunity like this everybody now wants to show and you do not know where god has stopped and you want to continue to stretch it to show you are anointed and then you step out of the spirit and begin to walk in the flesh because some of you are here for this same anointing but you see the it's not just the anointing believe me this is not an issue of prayer and fasting it's an issue of knowing god and understanding his ways 
God is only committed to backing what he instructed. If he did not direct you, he will not back you. Hallelujah. God bless you. John chapter 3 verse 16. Let's just look at scripture quickly. And then we'll pray. There is a lot that God wants to do tonight. These guys have already stared the anointing. And you see the thing with the anointing is once he's stared, it doesn't stop. It doesn't know whether it's miracle service or Easter. John chapter 3 verse 16. I'd like you all to be sensitive. The anointing has been stared up in this place. Many of you do not know what the staring of the anointing is. The moment your eyes see there is a relationship between your heart and your eyes. So once your eyes see it, immediately your spirit is open. And the moment your spirit is open, the spirit of God starts moving. He doesn't care whether you are preached or not. Because that's his desire. Hallelujah. And usually, once the anointing starts moving, it's very difficult to contain it. Because the hearts of people are open. In the name of Jesus. I'm hearing the sound of thunder. I know this is not physical. I'm hearing a sound of thunder. Like lightning is coming upon people right now in the congregation. Why do I see this? It's like the sound of thunder. It's what I hear in my spirit. It's a sound. hallelujah please pay attention the meeting is on i'm seeing ministering spirits it's a class of angels i'm seeing them walk inside and outside just let me do what is happening ministering spirits there are not many times i see these kinds of angels i'm seeing them walking inside and outside ministering spirits they are angels that impart strange levels of graces ah, ah, yeah. They will touch you where you are. It will be like fire. They will touch you where you are. As they touch you, they release your miracles. As they touch you, they release your breakthroughs as they touch you they break those chains nah. they are touching you on behalf of families touching you on behalf of families skatapakatabara <laughs>
Aleluya. Direction. That's what I hear. God is giving men direction. It's like an anointing. It will come on you, outside and inside. Direction, an end to that confusion. Right now, it's coming like light. But then you will hear him direct you. Direction. 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 What is that area of confusion? His light shines upon it right now. For marriage. Direction. 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 For where to settle down. Geographic location. Direction. Is coming by the Holy Ghost. Direction. Somebody is praying and say, Lord, show me. The Lord is saying, I am showing you. It's coming upon your spirit. I'm giving you direction on what to do. Direction. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the names of people written on a paper and put under a stone and the Lord is saying take it out Lord where are those people whose destinies have been buried as I'm speaking right now inside and outside right now right now as I speak by the power of the Holy Spirit right now where you are sitting you will receive a visitation I pull it out. This is a miracle service. I pull it out now. Oh yes, release that lady. I see it in the spirit. Release that lady right now. Release that lady's destiny. is happening to you where you are something is happening to you where you are begin to receive it by faith like the dew of heaven resting in this place inside and outside Lord we receive what you are doing sit down if you can those under the anointing just leave them
John 3 16 I just want to the Lord has just healed a lady of a breast lump you have a lump in your left breast check it right now check it right now check it and come out right now right now I don't know why God is just interrupting please check it check it check it right now in fact I see three people check it this is a family please we are not playing games inside and outside i'm seeing three ladies who came with like a lump on their breast check it right now that devil has gone back to hell please check it quickly and come out if they are under the anointing when they when they are all right let them come out very quickly let them come out quickly augustina augustina i'm hearing the name like Augustina Augustina if there's someone like that you can just make your way to the front quickly Augustina the Lord is judging evil in your family this is oppression this is what I'm seeing oppression as it's happening to you there's somebody outside this same anointing is touching the person outside the second overflow the anointing of the spirit is touching somebody outside the lord is bringing judgment to wickedness because i'm seeing that this is something that has to do with witchcraft it has tied your life and your family down and the lord is telling me release augustina release augustina release augustina release augustina and as it's happening to you it's also happening to that other lady in the name of jesus i release you right now from every chain that has held you be released your family be released it's time for you to testify i release both of you prophetically in the name of jesus christ every door the devil has tied let it be opened by the anointing of the spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing a whole family that came there is a family god wants me to minister to you are five five people I don't know if there is a mother I'm seeing a family with five people who came from somewhere and the Lord wants me to minister to them you are five in all you're five in all please when you identify them they can come up so that we will just minister to them very quickly hallelujah for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. And the Bible says. That he proved that love. By giving. His only begotten son. Please listen. Don't worry about what is happening. Just let me have your attention please. He says. He gave his only begotten son this we can take it from there that that statement he gave his only begotten son is the summation of the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ are we together now Please help her, wrap her. I command that spirit to leave her right now. Now. And never return. 
in the name of Jesus release her family release I see a lot of money being tied release it now as you go in the name of Jesus the Christ So the Bible says he gave his only begotten son hallelujah for God so loved the world the word there is cosmos the social system that has to do with people listen please and has to do with the entire territory the social system he says for God so loved the world and he proved that love listen listen because love must be manifested to be appreciated are we together now and the bible says that he gave his only begotten son and please don't be confused there is a name that son is called jesus because there are many people who can preach to be the begotten of the father but the only begotten son who after his resurrection now became the first begotten right until the resurrection of man he was the only begotten please listen you see everything about this bible was pointing to this very revelation the revelation of jesus christ everything the book of revelation says the revelation of jesus christ not the revelation of a formula or a principle so the law the prophets, Abraham, Samson, Isaac, Judges, everything was tracing to the genealogy of Jesus Christ. And then the Bible says that he manifested himself before people and he was full of grace and truth. Listen, Jesus came with a message and his message was very simple. He said, repent. The word repent is not the word turn from your sins. No. Preachers preach that as a result of lack of understanding. The word repent is an indication of completely turning from a direction to another. Please just be patient with me. This family or minister. Are we together now? Turning from one direction to the other. But the first step to that turning is acknowledging a person his sacrifice and his government that's the first step and then you begin to walk in accordance to his principles only when you do that are you said to have repented many people have not repented they want to repent they think they have repented they hope they are repenting the first message that was preached after the resurrection of Christ he said men and brethren what shall we do and this is what the apostle said repent for the remission of your sins so the Bible says he gave his only begotten son you laid aside your majesty gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created you took all of my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today in heaven if you know it just sing it with me i really want to worship you my lord you have won my heart and I am yours forever and ever. I will love you. You are the only one that for me gave your life. So he gave 
like you give your ATM for someone to use and withdraw money. He gave, he donated. And Jesus came upon the earth and he began to do many great things. Listen, Jesus did not just come. Please, I want you to pay attention. It's going to be very brief and we'll begin to pray. Jesus did not just come to show us how God looked alone. He came to show us how we should look. So when he walked upon the earth, he was the prototype of God's idea of the man he had created. He was invincible. The Bible records. Above situations, above circumstance, with unlimited power, yet a man of extreme self-control. He knew when to speak and he knew when to keep quiet. There would be so many sick people, like the ten lepers. He would heal one and just walk away. Because his desire was not to show power. His desire was to do the will of the Father. He was more interested in bringing satisfaction to his Father than building a ministry. People tried to say, look, build a ministry. And he said, no, 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 no. I can of my own do nothing as I see my father do. So he came to show us the prototype of the true Christian life. A life that is completely yielded to the will of the father. Void of self-ambition. Void of a desire for vain glory and personal gratification outside of Christ. A life that is crucified. Are we together now? And then the Bible begins to describe to us that which happened today many years ago. We know it as the passion of the Christ. It started from the communion where they came into him by covenant so that they would authorize him. John chapter 6 says, except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you cannot be part of me. You cannot have my life. So while they were taking the communion, they were giving him access to carry the sin of man upon himself. And then the Bible says he went to Gethsemane and there he cried. He prayed until tears were like drops of blood. Afterwards, he was ready to be crucified. And brothers and sisters, I know that we celebrate Easter. Today is Good Friday. Pain is what made today good. Are we together? Sacrifice is what made today good. If he refused to lay down his life. Listen, when Pilate looked at him and said, don't you know I have the power to free you? He said, ah, 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 ah. He said no man has this power except it is given unto him by my father. He said, I have the power to lay it down and the power to pick it up again. In other words, I was not coerced. My love for you made me to sacrifice my life, my reputation, and everything. We talk a lot about Good Friday, but we never know what made it good. This is what made it good. That a man gave his son, then the son gave his life. Are we together now? It's one thing to give your child. It's another thing for the child to agree. He can refuse. Jesus had the right to refuse in fact he was tempted to negotiate it he said father if it be possible you are the all wise God there is another way you can do this thing but then he remembered nevertheless I told you the hallmark of sonship is servanthood the true proof that you are a son is that you can give up sonship to become a servant are we together now the father gave Jesus Jesus gave his life and don't be confused he gave his blood he gave his righteousness are we together now he gave up his position and when he was doing that he had you in mind listen listen he never went to the cross because of anything he did of himself the Bible says he was a man touched with the feelings of our infirmity yet without sin but he took your place 
because the Bible says we all like sheep have gone astray. Right? He said every man has gone his own way. With our ideas about God. Our ideas about success. Would you give our mother a chair please? Let her just sit down. I'll minister to you in a moment please. At least let her just sit down. Hallelujah. Well all of you, you can sit down. I'll call you now. They are all looking at me. Um, sit down. Especially this my friend. Friend, how are you? What's his name? Aaron. Kelvin. Just get somewhere. For, they can sit around. And I will attend to you now. Just five minutes. Let me establish what. Hallelujah. So, please come, sir. I offend a government. And they are about to destroy me. Listen, please. About to destroy me. And the Bible testifies that I have no power in myself. And then someone comes. And while I'm on my way to destruction, he interrupts. And he says, I love you too much to let you keep gambling and trying your way. This is what I want you to do. Stand back and watch me pay the price. And while he was on the way, while they were flogging him, in his mind he was saying, mankind, I hope you are watching. This would have been you. I hope you are watching. I hope you are watching the scars. As he began to bleed, he said, I hope you are watching. See, if two people come and they tell you they love you, the best answer to give those two people is I'm watching. Because love is a verb. Are we together now? I am what? Watching. All kinds of things have told you they love you. But they left you. But Jesus said, watch my love. I'm not going to make noise about it. First stand back. And while they flogged him, he said, if it's for you, I will still go the extra mile. And they flogged him. The father gave him. He gave his health. The father gave him. He gave his prosperity. The father gave him. When we say his life. Let's break it down. What, what is in his life that he gave? Because that's what he gave you. What was in the life of Jesus? The ability to reign and rise above sickness and diseases. The father gave him. He gave it away in exchange. The Bible says he was rich, but he gave it. Are we together now? He had a reputation of dominion, but he laid it aside. I hope you know that they stripped him naked. The covering you see around is just for social reasons when you are watching movies. A 33-year-old man, naked. Children watched him. Adults watched him. People mocked at him and said, you claim to be a king. And he said, this is all for you. Are we together? Blood dripping out from every part of his body. Every time he was tempted to give up. He said, no, if I give up, where I stop is where you must continue. And I know that even if it was for the last nail, you still would not be able to take it. See, listen. If you think what happened on the cross is what Jesus just died for, physically, you will be deceived. Because there are human beings who have been crucified. What he stopped you from was not the physical activity. It was what was happening in the spirit. You can do the physical one, I guarantee you. People have been crucified. But you don't know what that meant in the spirit. A lot was interplaying in the spirit while that was happening. He became Adam from Gethsemane. From Gethsemane to the cross, he was no longer the Christ. He was Jesus, Adam, the very man of sin. Mortality came upon him. Please listen. And the father kept watching. He had given him and he knew that it is more blessed to give than to receive. So there was no negotiation about receiving. The blessing was that he would bring many sons into glory. Are we together now? When they took him to that cross and they nailed him, as his blood began to drip upon the earth, and in that excruciating pain, 
It was a way of torturing criminals. He was not just looking at Mary and John. He was looking at you. He was looking at me. He was looking at every witchcraft in our family and every ordinance of darkness. And he said, if it's for you, I will do it. But he made a very interesting statement we are going to establish tonight. Three words that represented victory. It is finished. Oh, hallelujah. I didn't study English. But I know that when a man says, it is finished. It is finished. Is a reality that is present and continuous forever. Not it was finished. You would have said the condition for it finishing has changed. So we have to start another one. It is finished. The question is, what is the it that has been finished? First, that inability to access the Father. We call it lack of righteousness. He said that error is finished. That, 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 that Christianity that has to do with ceremonial cleansings, having to atone for your sins by your own strength, I brought it to an end. That ability of saying qualify and come to God. He said it is finished. You now will come through my own invitation. My own access. Like I organize a program. And I invite someone. And while you are about to drive him. I say no, no, no. That's my guest. Come. But you are not only his guest. He also made you the one to be celebrated. Please listen. There is a dimension of this we have not learned. And this is what I want to teach us. When Jesus went to hell and met Satan, a discussion transpired. And Satan said, remember Adam. And he said, I don't remember Adam. I am him. Don't you see? This is Adam. And Satan knew it was true. Because only Adam had the right to collect the key. No other man could collect the key. And so he went as the second Adam. And said, you killed Adam. And every man that came from him, let me have the keys. Revelations 1 verse 1, when you read down what? I am he that was dead, but now I am alive and I hold the keys. He collected the keys. Listen. Access to the earth, access to dominion, access to God's life. That's the most important part. The life of God. I'm going to explain it. When he resurrected, watch this. Did you know that if he just started walking and doing all of the things he did, man would not be able to partake of it because he had not ascended to heaven. It would just be that he was victorious. And then the Bible says, according to the book of Hebrews, that he went to heaven as the high priest, the lamb, the sacrifice, as everything. And then he took his blood, poured it upon that tabernacle, and said, Father, you are just for seeing that man does not have access to divine health and all of this because you are a just God. Your throne is founded upon righteousness and justice. The Bible says they are the foundations, meaning there's no negotiation that will bend it. But now he says, every time you think justice, let mercy begin to speak. Watch this. I really want you to get a revelation of this. It will change your life. Every time the voice of judgment, the voice of mess of, of, of justice begins to speak, I will not fight it. But remember that I not only paid the price, I paid the price for everybody who will be an offender on this path. Are we together now? When that happened, a coronation happened in heaven we see that coronation the psalmist gave us a revelation and from philippians chapter 2 the bible says a name an office an identity was given to him in heaven to sit upon that throne are we together now and the bible says anything that has to do with man's redemption 
man's vindication must pass through him meaning a man is only condemned when he condemns that man a man is only justified when he justified the father put it in his office are we together watch what he did when he sat down on that throne he told man there is another dimension you do not know i know that i paid the price for you but i want to teach you another dimension we paid it in covenant listen you did not participate in anything but out of my love i took you and made it as though in me you were the one who paid that price so not only did he die for you you died in him are we together now so in christ every man's iniquity every man's um basis for accusation was nailed in christ paul saw this in galatians 2 20 and he said i have been crucified with christ nevertheless he said i live yet not i but christ it's an exchange he died for me now i live in him in other words the day jesus christ dies there is no reason why i should be alive because we're in him so my life is no longer something i get outside of him my life is an overflow of what i have received from him and he so designed that from that point hence listen everything i derive will be because of him in him and with him my joy is because of him my prosperity is because of him please listen my peace is because of him so at no point in this kingdom would i be found leaning on my own strength because the moment i lean on my own strength the judgment of the law catches up with me the only basis for vindication is to be in him this is what he said he says he that abides in me and i abide in him he said the same will bear much fruit he said for without me the word without means outside of me and everything that i have done ye can do nothing the basis of the believers victory is what christ did on the cross but not just what christ did on the cross because that's what a lot of people say oh i know what he did no let's continue john 3 verse 16. please give it to us so that we can finish up it's not enough to know what jesus did that's not where i'm going tonight this is the part that concerns you that whosoever believes believes what no 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 it didn't say that whosoever believes anything there is a specific thing you have to believe to have life you can believe jesus is a prophet it never gives life you can believe jesus is a healer it doesn't give life are we together he says believe in him who is the him who is the him no you see you see where we miss it we have been believing in rubbish who is the him who he said god no believing in god doesn't give you life who is the him that's where i want us to get to tonight you, you see that our confusion is the reason why we cannot manifest the reality of God's life. We believe, but what do you believe? Are we together? You can believe the shepherd. Believe me, you will not be saved. Believing in the shepherd does not bring salvation. Are we together? Believe in him. Who is him? The Bible, I love the way the Bible puts it. As many as believed in him, 
see that brothers and sisters i am many things and all of those dimensions can give you different operations of me are we together a child believes a father a worker believes a ceo a jimmy's daughter believes in her father she doesn't believe in a ceo we believe in a jimmy adegbeye the multi-millionaire that's what you believe you will never get fatherly love from that dimension are we together now you may get financial advice you may get intelligence you may get all of this i believe in professor femi you will get the intellectual dimension there is a dimension of god you must believe to have life many of us have believed him as a healer you can be healed and still go to hell please hear me many of us have believed him as a savior you can have i mean you can have a what do we call it a, as a shepherd what dimension of him have you believed i will tell you now ready there is a dimension of him you must believe to be saved whosoever calls upon the name of the lord shall be saved what is lord the word lord means a conqueror are we together now listen please it's not just a savior like the one who died he didn't resurrect as a savior he died as a savior he did not resurrect as a savior he resurrected as lord a winner a champion one qualified to transfer what he has and the bible says whoever believed that listen whoever believes in him that name that was given he said he shall not perish the word perish there is not the word go to hell are we together because the bible says whoever does not believe is already condemned shall not perish here it is but have money but have the word everlasting is a wrong interpretation everybody has everlasting life everlasting life is life that does not end your your life does not end you only change location to continue the living that's why we never say will you spend eternity you must spend it the question is where are we together now thank you don't mind this my funny friend where will you spend eternity not will you spend you must spend it the word eternal life there is the word divine life is the greek word zoe i know you've heard it many of us quote it but just listen the word zoe listen let me describe it for you it's a life that does not want depend on any external input for its sustenance it's a life that has the capacity to reproduce anything it needs within itself are we together now like you do not have to source for anything within that system is self-sufficiency within that system is the ability to be any and everything that life can become health that life can become victory that life can become wisdom so when the bible says we have life it doesn't mean we just have a new way of breathing in and out no something came upon you that all of a sudden translates you please i want you to believe this the bible says the focus in the whole story is the believing part whoever believes in him the lord who was a savior became a conqueror now sits as a king the father gave the son the son gave his life your job is to receive that life when you receive that life in reality the bible says certain things will begin to change you see the life is a programming the moment it enters you it deconstructs itself to different dimensions please listen the life of god is not just a big thing that comes up no 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 it is the life that begins to open you up to the mysteries of the kingdom it is the life you have received that begins to immune you 
from the activities of darkness many people have not received this life they want healing but they have rejected the life of god many people have come out for altar call father i i am I'm, I'm born again i believe in you this and that but they have not received it he said as many as received brothers and sisters you can reject it many seated here have rejected it i give you my atm card you refuse to collect it you can reject it yet you need what only my atm card will give you you can borrow money from pastor lawrence borrow money from uh, a promise and so on and so forth and i say take my atm card the point is you don't just take it and hold it when you take the card something will make you turn behind and begin to read and follow you see the life of god is not how do i put it now it's not like something you just put in your pocket all right look at this i have this handkerchief so we say i have the life of god do you have it yes no that's not the idea of the life of god the idea of the life of God is like a programming. Something enters you and begins to walk in you. It is God who is at work in us to will and to do. So it's working. The moment the life enters you, it's like a genetic mutation. It starts altering your configuration. Are we together now? And the Holy Spirit is the custodian of that life. When he comes, he begins to open you up to the realities of the kingdom all of a sudden listen because of that life you are now spiritually alive you can have the sensitivity to know that life was not supposed to be like this why am i always failing you will never just know that ordinarily it takes that life to open that awareness in you are we together now it's like glasses you all of a sudden start seeing life from another perspective no I'm not supposed to fail like this. I can't, I can't just be taking it like that again. Something must change. No, I've seen a trend in my family. People don't get married till they are 45. I'm noticing that something in my external environment is fighting the reality of that life. And the Bible says, he who has the son has eternal life. Zoe. God's kind of life. Now watch this. Although you have that life, it takes the ministry of the Holy Spirit, please listen, to open you up to the operation of that life so that you can receive the fullness of the benefits of that life. This is where a lot of people miss it. Oh, I have life. I have life. The same way you say, I have a car. The same way you say, I have an ATM card. Can you use it? I have given it to you. Do you know how to activate the operation of that life? Do you know how to make that life work in you? We have been taught that it works automatically. No, sir. No, sir. You can claim to have the life and still die of sickness. Now, this is where Satan's ministry comes. The thief cometh not but to steal to kill if you don't have anything he doesn't come to steal are we together now satan comes his first ministry is deception what is deception painting an untrue picture and convincing you to believe it so you believe that i do not have this life if i truly had this life i should not be sick are we together now if i have this life I should be doing exploits academically if i have this life now listen here is where the confusion has come in the body of christ there are those who are saying you have this life there are those who are saying you don't have this life you better fight your way into receiving it both of them are incomplete on one side you are seeing the suppose by faith you believe you know you acknowledge that that life is in you but then you are not seeing the difference the Bible said should be produced. Are we together now? This is the dilemma of many Christians. I gave my life to Christ from the day I got born again. My life has not changed. It's been 10 years. I will tell you why. Eternal life is being frustrated within you. Because you have not been taught how to release and activate the operation of the content 
of that life. It's like buying a phone. You admire it, you look at it, but you do not know how to work with it. That was the lamentation of the psalmist in Psalm 82 from verse 5. He says, they know not. Not they have not. They know not. Neither will they understand. He said they grope in darkness and so the foundations of the earth are out of course. The next verse says, have I not said, ye are God and all of you are children of the most high. He says, but you shall what? Die like men, men. Listen, please listen. An heir, as long as he is a child, does what? The Bible starts by calling him what? An heir, a partaker of an inheritance, a partaker of a reality. But it says, as long as he's a child, the word child here is devoid of strategy, devoid of the ability to understand the operation of that process. He said he differed not from a slave. I can receive the life of God that contains health, vitality, prosperity, and still be under a cause. I tell you, hear me, brothers and sisters. Because we misunderstand the prophetic dimension of God's word. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. But we do not know that the communications of God are twofold. There is the prophetic communication of God. Speakings according to his realm of existence. But there is the experiential manifestation of that prophetic word. It is the nature of God to call things as though they already appear. Are we together now? Hebrews chapter 2, he put it very beautifully. He said God had put all things under the subjection of man. He said God did not leave anything left. But he said, as it is now, we do not yet see all things. Are we together now? So, you have come to answer the altar call. The life is in you. But you went back. And the exact same thing you know happens when a man is under a curse is happening to you now you went to a pastor and said pastor you said if i'm born again this thing will leave but you the person said yes is it not in your bible we're all ready together now you are born again brothers and sisters but the truth is if you will be sincere you are still seeing those traces as if nothing happened to you so it puts believers in a dilemma there are those who are saying Keep believing that it's gone. One day it will go. Hey, wonder shall never end. If you have that kind of ideology, you are in for trouble. And then on the other hand, there are those who act as though they really have nothing. So they are trying. They live per day. We survive today. Let's see how the war of tomorrow will be. I know that there will be all kinds of things. Are we together now? So although they read, that there is victory in Christ. The truth is they don't believe it. They just know less fight per day. They are the ones who suspect everybody and everything. If Sam looks at you like this is a sign that he's an enemy. So they live their life with the consciousness of an aberrated perspective of warfare. And by warfare, they mean a consistent, never-ending contention. Both. Are we together? This is prophecy. But there is a place for the manifestation of prophecy. Jesus Christ has done everything he needs to do. But I have a role to play. Nobody gets saved just because Jesus died. You will go to hell. There is a response. Please listen. The idea of grace does not mean not participating. No. No. The idea of not participating in a process to call it grace is an aberration. Are we together? Uh huh. The difference between grace and the law is what kind of participation. There is a participation that is unto the flesh. There is a participation that is a response of faith. That is the participation that brings results. Are we together now? So if the Bible says, by tithing you open your heavens, when I'm tithing, 
I'm not acting under the law. I'm not trying to do something. I am responding. There is a difference between doing something to gain righteousness. But in any case, there must be reception by faith. And that in itself is a participation. This looks very simple, but it's at the foundation of the lack of results and the miracles that many people are, are not receiving. I don't want us to waste this night and just get up and see people fall under the anointing and celebrate miracles and go back. I want you to live victorious. If all you think is healing, you will be frustrated. If all you think is on my think God's life and all its content is away. The life of God that can become any and everything. Any and everything. Christ has been made unto me through his life wisdom. He's been made unto me strength. He's been made unto me prosperity. That life is the word. And as the word opens up, it shows me the dimensions of its operation. And then I look out first to believe. Number two, to respond. Everybody say believe. Say respond. This is your part as a believer. You, when you respond to what you do not believe, is a waste of time. So the Bible says, whoever believes in him, you receive. But that life begins to teach you certain things. And you respond to those teachings. Please listen to me. Part of what that life teaches you is that Satan is a trickster. He's a deceptive person. And he will not, just because you have life, leave you. The Bible says he left Jesus for a season. The next time he would come, he didn't come directly again. He came through Peter. And Jesus said, I still detect you. And the devil says, do not, I mean, God said, do not be unaware, speaking through the apostle, of the devil's strategy. Are we listening to me, please? Because many people get up bragging. I'm not under any curse. I'm not under this. Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the Lord. That's not a lie. But you have not learned how to participate in response to make that an experiential reality. So you will still brag around and die like mere men. Are we together now? I really believe in Jesus Christ and I really believe in his word. But I also believe in the principles that the revelation of his life releases. And my obsession is to always find out where is my part in this. Brothers and sisters, there is a part. There is a part that you have to play. Believing is not enough. Believing talks of conviction. Persuasion about the truth of a person or a statement. But there must be a response. Your response is your action of faith. So the Bible says this in the book of Hebrews. There remained a rest, a Sabbath for the people of God. In spite of what Christ has done, there still remains a rest. And then it says, let us therefore labor. This is Paul in the New Testament. What is the idea of labor? Push God aside. No, let us find out our place of response. Let us therefore understand the operations of the kingdom. So that we will know where our place of alignment is. And it says, whoever labors like that, there is a guarantee he will enter his rest. There is a way you will align. That sickness will run away from your body. Believe me. It's not just by claiming. You will claim and be shocked. There is a way you respond. Remember during our time of fasting. We're showing you different mysteries. These are all the components that are called the life of God. Right? He gave you life. But it takes faith and it takes an operation of the Spirit. 
So Satan has kept many people bound for two main reasons. One, they have rejected the life. And the solution to that is an altar call. I'm going to do that shortly before we start ministering. The second is he has kept people in delusion and ignorance. Never trivialize the role of deception in a man's destruction. Deception. The first deception is that you don't need to do anything again. Oh, brothers and sisters, hear me. I fear God. It's a big deception. As free as salvation claims to be, if you do not respond, you are going to hell. There is always a participation. That's what we call koinonia. Everybody say participation. If you will ever enjoy the healing dimension of God's life, there is a participation. If there will ever be prosperity, there is a participation. Now, the participation is a response of faith. God credits it as a response of faith, not an addition to what he has done. It's a compliment. So, he would see a sick body and say, your faith. You believe I am able to heal you. You were convinced based on the report you had. And now, I gave you an instruction waiting for your participation you got up your faith he calls it your faith so what is your faith faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of God's word believing is not faith no 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 believing is the first step to faith you can believe without having faith a believer is not a possessor a believer who responds is a possessor. There are so many people, listen to me, who are trusting God for all kinds of things here. I'm teaching you how to get results tonight. God is not a herbalist. There is a participation. Ejimi, this is a gift for you. What is he supposed to do? Watch this, his response. Now, he's standing up. is a sign that he believes me. I can choose to hide it. Please sit down, sir. Sorry I'm using you. Hope, I'm sorry I'm just doing this game with your husband. Hallelujah. Hey, Jimmy, do you believe I'm having a phone? And that phone is for you. If you believe it, walk up to me. Faith. This is faith. The walking to me, although he has not seen it. So he's putting my integrity to the line. It's up to me to prove that I'm not lying. So I bring it out. If he comes to me, listen. If he comes to me and I say, ah, I'm playing. He believed. I'm the one who is a liar. And the Bible said, God looked for anybody who is greater than him. So that he will show you he's not playing games. Are we together now? Let's look at one scripture. Thank you, sir. Romans chapter 8, please. Romans chapter 8. Let's look at verse 35. Romans 8, 35. Just that one scripture. And then we'll take an altar call and begin to minister. Romans chapter 8. 35. Okay, give us from verse uh, 32. 32. Thank you. Everyone, please read. If you are a Christian, if you are a child of God, this is Good Friday. Well, even if you are not a child of God, read. I will soon make an altar call. One, two, read. He that spared not, stop. Who is the he now? God. He's trying to make a statement and he's tying the certainty of that statement to something he had done before. It's like saying, he that built this bridge in Kaduna and built it excellently is about to build something. So in case you doubt what I'm about to do, find out whether I did that thing or not. He's about to make a statement. And he's saying, don't you dare doubt me for what I'm about to say. He that did not spare his what? Own son. But delivered him up. For who? What's the next statement? How shall he not with him also freely give us what? This is God speaking. He said, look at me. Your healing is a lesser thing. I gave Jesus 
what is healing i gave jesus what is witchcraft if i did not if i spared my son then you will know that there are some things i can spare but i carried my son i gave him and now i have gathered you to give you healing and you are asking god this my this i've been bleeding for six months non-stop and god said if i spared not jesus i will not spare anything whatever it would take me to prove myself i will do it if it means me killing somebody i will do it i i gave my son who will i not be able to kill listen this is the basis for conviction so every time the devil is trying to say look 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 will that prophecy work just remember jesus jesus begged the father to have mercy the father refused so listen jesus said father reconsider the father said you are joking stay there and now god is saying i want to bless you and the devil is saying no and jesus is saying god is saying just believe me and watch how i will do anything it takes is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am yeah. is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am hallelujah if the father did not give jesus it's like a man listen it's like a man who vowed to punish every offender and he saw his wife and the guy said i'm a just person and he punished his wife then somebody throws alarm and say oh guy you know we are nigerians what do you think he's going to do you say that's my wife inside the gutter i'm a military man this is my wife i paid the price for six months to get a yes from her she's in that gutter I don't know the consequence of my action if you think i'm going to forgive you listen if it took god refusing to even give jesus a chance for negotiation for your sake then i assure you whatever else it is that is holding you must leave you this night <laughs> hallelujah do you believe me we are going to pray and say lord help my own belief that listen 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 that spirit that makes me keep wondering can god do it listen don't don't make that foolish statement tonight i i was praying on the tonight before i came here i was praying on the invitation card for my neighbor's wedding if you know the story behind that dear woman she shared it here all kinds of things when I met her, the devil was almost destroying her life. Had fibroid that was almost big like the size of a baby. She shared her testimony here. Supernaturally, that devil of fibroid came out the way a woman gives birth. It came out like that without surgery. And people were saying, ah, can you marry? Time has gone. Time has gone nonsense. I prayed for the card. And to the shame of the devil, we are dancing to the heavens on the 6th of May. <laughs> Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, your limitation is self-imposed. Satan is a deceiver. He comes to you and says, but can they really hear your voice? We are going to pray. The only prayer I want you to pray tonight is to challenge unbelief and say lord i lift my faith i'm ready to respond based on my conviction lift your voice and begin to pray i have a part to play i lift up that wall of unbelief please pray pray you are able
Are you praying? sense the anointing of the spirit i'd like you to mention everything that must live tonight listen please just follow these instructions i told you your response is where your faith is there are things that should go don't just keep quiet and watch them the bible says speak to the mountain open your mouth and begin to mention them don't keep quiet Mountain of financial hardship, mountain of cancer, mountain of mediocrity. Oh, you must go, you must go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Say after me tonight. In the name of Jesus. The faith of God is at work in me. I have the faith to receive. I have the faith to believe. I have the faith to respond please listen do you know what happened in Acts chapter 4 don't turn there the Bible says they went to a gate called beautiful please let me sit down sir watch this it says they saw a man who had been there and he he, he called on them for arms and he thought they were going to give him arms Peter and John and he, they said silver and gold have i none he said but such as i have listen listen i give unto you what did he have he said in the name of jesus rise up and walk the man was there sit down he was nothing happened why response did he believe peter yes did he get a miracle no why he, he could not respond and the bible says when peter saw him he said who taught you faith he held his hand and said respond 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 and the bible says peter held his hand and he leaping stood the power of god is released at the point of response not before never before at the point of response when i began to minister here the lord was speaking to my spirit who gave me a guarantee that the power of god will move but as i began to speak I put pressure it's left for him now to defend whether he really spoke to me or not God will not just get up and act listen it was God that put this miracle service you're leaving your house to come is enough response already are you listening to me you're going to say Lord I put pressure on your integrity you ask us to come we have come lift your voice and pray don't be afraid of saying it pray Lord, you ask us to come. You are the one who anointed this meeting to be a miracle service. Now, oh God, we are here. Put pressure on his integrity. 
we have come oh god that you prove yourself shake it up shake it up we have come hallelujah hallelujah now keep standing everybody before we continue there are people here i don't want you to waste your time and i don't want to waste your time there are people here inside and outside in all the overflows outside you are yet to make this decision the bible says this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life he said and that life is in his son he says he who has the son has that life please we're out of time we have very few minutes and there is a lot to do now wherever you are you are saying man of god i have heard your word i have been struggling with this thing but tonight i truly want to dedicate everything my all to jesus christ or you are saying man of god i have come out for an altar call before but for some reason honestly the pressures of life have pushed me and i need to make my way straight with the lord i'm tired of where i am those two categories of people inside and outside i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come out here right now god bless you quickly please i'll count just one to five if the holy ghost is speaking to you don't sit down thinking about it make your way very quickly one two run run like there's fire on the mountain especially those outside please you need to run run to jesus as you stand here please keep talking to him don't just stand looking at me god bless you run to jesus oh win that war win that war tonight this is an issue of your destiny koinonia can you appreciate them this is a harvest for the king of glory you're saying lord i'm tired of living my life my own way mismanaging my life on this Easter Friday, I give everything to you. Keep coming. You are saying, Lord, Easter Friday, you died for God so loved me. He died for me. I'm tired of living a life that is not worthy of my calling. There are still people outside. Please run and catch up quickly. Quickly. As the Holy Ghost is speaking to you and say, join them. Make your way quickly. You're saying, Lord, I'm tired. Tired of habits. Tired of addictions. Run to the cross. Come running. Come running. Come running to the mercy seat. Keep coming. All of you in front in one minute i'd like you to talk to jesus christ please no smiling and pitching one another this is a serious issue please pray open your mouth by yourself and say lord i i come to you genuinely the lord is ministering to me that there are three ladies outside who should join them you wanted to go and one of your friends stopped you please friend be careful don't stand against anybody's salvation this night make your way to the front please and join them i'm seeing three ladies outside that the lord is calling one of you your friend was trying to stop you the devil is a liar please make your way to the front and then there are two others god is speaking to join them quickly before we start praying those of you in front here talk to your maker no man condemns you the blood declares mercy said no help me i'm not gonna let you go i'm not gonna let you sleep away No man condemns you. The mercy, the mercy. Look 
at me all of you in front some of you are crying i don't care what you have done this one decision remember jesus every time the devil tries to condemn you are you not the drunkard tell him the drunkard is that guy on the cross something is about to happen to you right now oh yes oh you slept with somebody before coming here you say well i don't know what you are talking about but i've been crucified with christ he looked at the woman he said where are thine accusers he said neither do i condemn you go and sin no more lift your right hand and experience the power of the blood the power of mercy you just sing there is a fountain filled with blood very softly as i pray for them hallelujah listen brothers and sisters jesus can change your life don't stand here just making an emotional decision to go back there is power in the blood of jesus say after me lord jesus from the depth of your heart say it again lord jesus i believe in you and this night i surrender everything my life my dreams my hopes my ambitions I surrender it to you I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that from today I'm no longer a sinner I've been crucified with Christ and I have his life right now Jesus has paid the price I receive his life and I declare that I'm a new creation. The old has gone. I begin a new journey. Satan, you no longer have any accusation against me. I pray for you. Keep your hands lifted. Father, on this Good Friday, we present these souls as trophies to you. This is a response to what Jesus did. Oh, receive these souls. Koinonia, present these souls as trophies of victory. Trophies of victory. This is the sacrifice. The rewards of the sacrifice. Hallelujah. I pray for you. I declare that your sins are forgiven. And the power of sin over your life is broken forever every guilt the devil uses i don't care what it is tonight the same way you wash a dirty clothes in fact the way you bring a new one that's how the pages of your life is he gives you a new beginning in the name of jesus christ hallelujah a big congratulations to you in the name of jesus now listen I want you to do this real fast so you will join us i'm about to minister to people now and we're going to be very very fast hallelujah i'd like you to follow the gentleman there are people all around they will lead you outside we want your information please you are born again now christians don't tell lies make sure that you write your number you write your name just follow the instructions no fighting be patient until it gets to your turn they'll have your information and you quickly come back and join us in the service please do that as fast as possible so that um, you can participate fully in what is happening god bless you every other person begin to pray in the spirit rise up on your feet and begin to pray in the spirit and say lord my time for visitation is here i won't give up no i won't give up i'll keep pressing on Till my answer comes, I won't give up, Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep holding on, until my change comes, Lord, I won't give up, Lord, I won't give up, I'll keep holding on. Till my answer comes, I won't give up, 
Lord, I won't give up. I'll keep pressing on until my change comes. Please write your prayer requests very quickly and submit them. Let's do it quickly, please. One minute, everybody. If you have the prayer request of, of I understand that Koinonia is being streamed live right now. Can we honor God for that? Yes. It's being streamed live. We appreciate the media for their creativity. And for all our online people, we love you. The same power that is working here is the same power that will work everywhere you are in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So please, quickly, quickly, please, your prayer request. Listen, for those of us who are just coming, I, I don't want you to think this is some ritual. Believe me, God answers prayers here. God gave us a revelation. Hallelujah. And the revelation was the revelation of Hezekiah. Hallelujah. When he took the threat letter and the Bible says he put it before the Lord and said, Lord, behold their threatenings. So please write it very quickly. And then ushers, let's be very fast. Please help some people with papers next time maybe from uh, maybe two or three months from now we'll try to create expectation cards so that you can expectation cards leave her john leave her whatever she wants to do just let her do hallelujah we're going to pray please quickly your loved ones Please make sure the online community participate. There's a God that answers prayers here. Remember we spoke about faith. Those outside, ushers help them. If I were you, I will begin to prophesy over my request. And say, I wrote you because you must live my life. Or you must come into my life. begin to pass your requests very quickly very quickly very quickly my goodness I tell you it's like a cloud that is heavy over this place that's why I'm saying we should hurry up we feel the rain of your love we see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear See the rain of your love, feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear. So let it rain, let it rain. Would you open the floodgates of heaven? pass the prayer request very quickly once we start we're just going to move um, let me encourage those who came with sick people or those who came for healing please make sure you get ready so that when it's time we'll just do that very very quickly hallelujah very quickly and then 
um, will be able to minister to people no matter what your condition is one of the things that we're going to be releasing today listen we had an encounter um, we just returned from Ekiti State it's a lovely place and um, listen something really happened as they picked us from the airport in Elorin to Ekiti we passed a small village please listen a small village the border between Kwara State and Ekiti State and I saw one of the most miraculous things in my life I saw the obituaries of people listen 132 years 120 years it's like nobody died except they were 100 and something and in my mind I was saying Guinness book of record has been lying to us for long and the, the interesting part of it listen is that the people they are not on glasses their dentitions are still exact they don't use crutches they are working firm one of them was a senior apostle that died last year 132 serving in the ministry alive and doing well when i saw those obituaries i said there must be a grace for longevity there, there is a covenant in this lineage that brings longevity and i told the guys i said when we're coming back we're stopping here you can trust me oh the law of honor as soon as we got there we stopped and we came out we went to the women they could not understand english please quickly with a request and we told them we said we are pastors we went to minister in equity and we're going back to the north but we discern that there is a special anointing a strange grace for longevity and we want them to release upon us and then a lot of things happened that i may not say here and then they took us to one old man and the man just sat on his chair when we went they interpreted and they told him we came to receive that unction for longevity the man looked at us he said we should all kneel down and we got down on our knees and this guy began to pray and prophesy he's on record i'm sure maybe one of these days we played it was in yoruba i didn't care what he was saying eh, Jimmy. all i know is that he was speaking a language and my spirit was receiving it this guy kept prophesying releasing that grace and that mantle upon that territory upon us i said that's right i knew that there's no mistake about this the moment we finished with him honored him so the seed into his life appreciated all the people we were on our way going back to the car and i felt in my spirit to go back and thank the women i went back to thank them and i saw a particular woman and they said this man 132 years this is his wife ah. when they said that i said interpret for them that we came for and the woman looked at me they can bear me witness she just tapped me and said you follow her we followed her into a room she just opened the door and i saw pictures from one side to the other she started showing me the pictures i thought he was the wife of the man when he was in his old age you know like ketura that was the one and only woman he married that means that woman should be at least maybe 120 years or something alive these guys can bear me witness no glasses no crutches no nothing i said what kind of grace is this brothers and sisters there are mysteries you've heard me say this thing and when we finished before we finished talking we all got down on our knees and we told the woman she first started singing a song i don't know what it was i don't care what it was this woman spent like 10 minutes just letting it out from her spirit and do you know i was i don't know if i was sharing with them i felt as if they put a crown on my head that's how as i was feeling i knew i got this thing immediately she got it i told her i said let's snap i held her hands and we got to the place we'll show you the video and we snapped and i said i'm standing face to face with a woman 100 and something alive dentition complete can speak no glasses ah it was you i was thinking about i was happy to transport that grace brothers and sisters we brought it it must land on you tonight <laughs> hallelujah i i was just looking i was looking to empty everything i had i said what kind of grace is this 
we went to minister in a university called Afe Babalola University. The man himself is 86 years, alive and doing well. In those regions, if you are 80 years, you are still a child. Believe me. Then when we were returning, I saw the shock of my life. 141 years. One, how many? 41. I saw the obituary. He just died. 141. I said, I got it. Let's see the devil that will manufacture himself from anywhere to come and take my life. No. See, listen. If you don't believe in transference of grace, you will die young. Don't you ever think it was because of the food they are eating. I didn't see any hospital around there. I just saw a church. And people, is you can be 190 and not be able to talk. But you are 141. The guy 132 was still serving as a man of God. You are cooking by yourself. And you died and left the wife. The, the mama tapped me. In this place, once you are 60 years, you hold crutches. What cause is that? I always believed it, but now that I've seen it, ah, there's that song that says, my eyes have seen. Don't play it. My eyes have seen it. There are many strange things that will fall today. Listen, if you care, you can receive. If you don't, when we were coming, we were in the plane, and the plane was bouncing like a football. I just remember that old woman. I said, plane, you are joking. I'm surrounded by too many mysteries. Please believe me. Hallelujah. 86 years, still a lecturer. 89 years, still a lecturer. Alive. 100 and something years. You see the women as if they are 50 something. But some of them are in their 90s, 80s, 100s. That's grace, brothers. It's not about anybody praying for longevity. There is an anointing that comes upon territory. And tonight, in the course of the meeting, is when it's time to pray that, please receive it. We need to be alive to do a lot for the kingdom. Pray and say, Lord, my spirit is open to receive everything you have for me. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Why do we do this all the time? We do this because there are spirits, listen, that stand in the way of people's destinies. Don't think that deliverance is just something we do mechanically. I'm about to pray because there are people who came here. There are those who represent families altars that have tied the destinies of men down i'm going to pray i tell you i sense a heavy anointing please the moment that happens i like you not don't just fall and stand up begin to pray and receive and reject everything that is not of god father your word says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance it says there shall be holiness and it said the sons of jacob shall receive their possessions therefore i pray every spirit every altar every manipulation of darkness that is responsible for the tragedy in any man's life inside the first overflow second and third as you shout jesus like fire let it begin to land on people right now one two three I command those spirits right now right now my goodness my goodness inside outside like fire is coming upon people is coming upon people is coming upon people hallelujah the Lord is giving me a very foolish instruction just lift your right hand that's what I hear right hand my goodness you don't need to shout just lift your right hand. Lift the drums. 
just lift your right hand this don't mind me let me do my stupid thing the lord is giving me an instruction i see at least up to 33 people the lord is just saying i should stretch my hands the moment that happens i'm seeing like a stone being broken these are families altars in families lord according to your word right now at the count of three all the people and families involved i stretch my hands one two three let it happen right now right now right now right now right now just keep your right hand lifted shape baba kata altars 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 right now shake it 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 in the name of the lord jesus bring them out those strange altars strange altars hallelujah lift your hands the lord is saying he is visiting fertility issues fertility issues barrenness whatever it is lift your hands at the count of three as you shout jesus anyone connected to you or anyone here under a spell of infertility at the count of three be broken one two three break 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 right now right now right now infertility there are some ladies feeling fire fire around your stomach fire around your womb fire around your womb fire around your womb is breaking is breaking is breaking is breaking is breaking shake it about is breaking hallelujah please lift your hands the lord is speaking to me there are people here everything you touch dies in your hand lift your hands please no matter what it is if it's a relationship it dies at the count of three let fire fall every cause of bad luck at the count of three shout jesus one two three go 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 right now those altars those altars right now everything your hand touches dies people come around to help you and they leave you it's changing right now it's changing right now it's changing right now hallelujah sisters lift your hands any stranger that visits you in dreams lift your hands speaking to you planting things the lord is giving this instruction every spirit husband just for ladies i tell you many people will be free right now at the count of three is like fire that will fall on you lord let it fall every entity coming to oppress these people planting barrenness bad luck one two three take it take it take it take it let them go now inside and outside let them go now let them go now let them go now let them go now my dear tap that lady for me yes that lady nodding 
an angel is touching you he's bringing a miracle for you right now that's what i see i see like cold sensation coming to your head a miracle and as it's happening to her may it happen to you right now in the name of the lord jesus christ lift your hands and begin to pray over your request let it rain please pray go ahead and just prophesy and say lord this marks the end of it the bible says believe in the lord your god pray pray don't look at me pray open your mouth and pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Father we turn go ahead and pray Lord my request is turned into a testimony I must testify by the anointing of the Holy Spirit Standing upon the eternal counsel of God, the hand of the Lord itself will bring this to pass. The burden is lifted in the name of Jesus. Are not angels ministering spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? Let the ministry of angels begin to bring to pass every single request in this place. In the name of Jesus, we command the foundations of the earth, we command the firmaments, we command the waters to begin to align themselves towards the fulfillment of this request. We lift every burden placed upon the shoulders of men by the anointing of God's Spirit and we set these ones free. In the name of Jesus, mighty and everlasting God, standing upon your promise to us, upon this altar, the heavenly portals opened in this place. We command a performance of the requests, the desires placed here tonight. In the name of Jesus, we decree the heavens answer speedily. Everyone trusting you for the fruit of the womb, receive in the name of Jesus. Promotion from on high, receive in the name of Jesus. An end to demonic oppression. It happens now in the name of Jesus. Blind eyes open. Death ears open. Destiny is moved forward. In the name of Jesus. Satanic burdens removed. In the name of Jesus. We thank you Lord because speedily. According to the seasons of life. They receive a performance. In the matchless name of Jesus we decree. Amen Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please rise up on your feet. And receive the prophecy. You can. I saw a spirit. And, and I'm praying for the students now. Please listen. When I was outside ministering, I saw a spirit like bees released to produce massive failures in the exam that is being written in the name that is above all names. I pray for everyone here. The kind of performance you have never seen, receive it in the name of Jesus. Shake the kappa, shake the the kind of performance I pray from the depth of my heart the kind of performance you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus the grace for favor where you have labored and tried and it didn't work beginning from tonight step into a new dimension of favor step into a new dimension of favor every direction you have been praying and asking the lord to give you between now and next friday receive that direction receive that direction i want to pray for business people anyone in business lift your hands the 
the strategy the strategy that you need to win in the name of jesus receive it right now may it appear to you in dreams in the name of jesus christ everything that has died in your hands i command it to come back alive in the name of jesus christ now i want to pray for you father that old baba prayed and released upon our lives the mantle of longevity 132 still alive i pray for you please receive it me too i received it from the depth of my heart lord you know that i wanted this not for self but for the house at 70 you are still standing strong at 90 you are still moving strong until you get to 120 no devil takes your life in the name of jesus hear me the force that immunes people from accidents comes upon your life right now the force that immunes people from terrorism and the wickedness it comes upon your life right now that spirit that kills people at the prime of their life when they labor and about to enter it takes their lives it leaves your life forever 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 hallelujah may you see your children's children to the fifth generation believe what i'm saying i've seen human beings bodily carrying this revelation you step into it in the name of jesus therefore anyone here that death is eyeing that you will not see the next miracle service or you will not see the end of this year i don't know how the plan is going on in the realm of the spirit but i avert it right now i avert it right now the same way you will live long physically everything that is good in your life lives long with you your health lives long with you your wisdom lives long with you faithful lives long with you two prayer points quickly where you have been rejected you step into a place i've experienced it oh let me tell you something hallelujah i will never forget you know jimmy knows the story in 2007 i remember that time i went to collect a loan from a bank remember the story i went to collect a loan from the bank we had done everything and then when it was now time for them to give me the loan they embarrassed me i was humiliated the same people who were helping me it was as if a charm came upon them and i looked at that person and i vowed that till i die till i go to be with the lord i will not collect loan from anybody living or dead i made that determination from the depth of my heart i said lord if you cannot honor me let me die like that i pray for someone here see listen if doors are closing against you is demonic don't ever say it's because i don't know so 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 bad. if if the person knew me it's a lie there is a man to the bible says everyone loved esther who looked at her like a garment you can wear it i pray that honor that brings receptivity receive it right now oh come on your amen is not loud enough receive it right now hallelujah the bible says you shall be as a delightsome land you know what a delightsome land is well desired in other words at any point you are seen you are invited i don't know who has disqualified you but i pray for you they may use your background they may use whatever let grace qualify you tonight let grace qualify you tonight koinonia i pray for you honor that you have never seen in your life 
from even people who can give birth to you begin to receive it strange honor in high places strange honor in high places in the name of jesus wave your hands and give god all the praise thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus whatever you have started listen something just came in my heart whatever you have started that ended prematurely because this what i'm there is an anointing for what i'm telling you whatever you start i don't care what it is whether it is relationship or whatever and it ended but not by god we put life back to it right now i say it again whatever you started that ended but not by god by a manipulation of darkness it jacks back to life right now in the name of jesus from beginning to the end it will always be always be you jesus oh jesus nothing else matters nothing in this world will do for jesus Jesus, you're the center, and everything revolves around you, Jesus. Listen, if you really want God to honor you, the key is to forget about the deceitfulness of vain glory. The deceit that fame and popularity can bring. Does God want you famous? Oh yes. But the key is not to seek it. The key is to seek that Christ alone directly be glorified. And God will surprise you beyond your imagination. I watch with a lot of shock the way we pressure ourselves looking for fame looking for names it's led audience to all kinds of things pastors we want crowds like this this is the ambition of many people so that i'll tell you where we got that thinking from it's very sincere but it's wrong we came from backgrounds cultural backgrounds territorial backgrounds where we have been faced with this competitive spirit are we together of trying to prove to our contemporaries our loved ones those in our environments that we are successful so um uh, in a in a very sincere attempt to be great we have found ourselves under pressure not to glorify christ but to prove to everyone around us that we are not failures are we together now it has led us into what the Bible calls vain glory. The pursuit for mundane things. So Lord, I want money so that by the time I dress well or have a car and a house, everybody will know that I'm not a failure. Do you know one of the ways Satan deceives people is to try to tell you he will give you what God has already given you. So he makes you go around trying to do everything. There are many young people. We want to be rich. Why? So that in-laws and people will not think that you are a, you are a non-entity. And it has driven us to all kinds of stupid things. There are all kinds of people telling lies, wanting to show that we are great people. And so you tell a lie, you know, my father is in the U.S. For some reasons, he can't come into the country. Whereas your father is an iron bender somewhere. You are not proud of him because you think that by saying my father is this and that, you will not be seen as being successful. From beginning to the end, it will always be, always be you, Jesus. Oh Jesus, listen. Anything in your life that does not glorify God directly, I'm telling you today, is a waste. I don't care what it is money, 
fame, children, marriage, prestige, accolades, whatever it is. Because the Bible says, what shall it profit a man? He uses a business terminology. What shall it profit a man if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? He's not endorsing poverty. He's not endorsing failure. He's only saying that all of these things are only tools that you use and men will see Jesus Christ directly glorified in your life. I shared with you my experience with God. Many years ago, the Lord told me this. He said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. That's what the Lord said. Not if you look for fame and a name. No. God is my witness. My passion and my obsession is not to be a man of God and make a name and prove that I'm a successful person now far be it from me I have one desire our heart and our desire is to see the nation's worship our cry and our prayer Is to sing your praise to the ends of the earth that we'd one mighty voice every tribe and tongue rejoices our heart. Our prayer. This is what this is all about. Is to see the nations worship you. Your kingdom reigns. Yes, it reigns through my life. Through my life, Lord, your kingdom. Yes, Listen. in my life here and now your kingdom reigns your kingdom reigns Lord in my life oh god in my life let me not live my life in a waste building empires that have no integrity your kingdom in my life my Had me teach it again and again. Anna wanted a child, but her purpose of wanting a child was to end the mockery of Penina. Are we together now? The Bible says there were the two wives of Elkanah, and many times Penina would mock Hannah because she was barren. And Hannah went to God, but her motive was never aligned to the kingdom. She wanted to use her ability to give birth to prove that she was a woman indeed. And God said, it's not enough reason for me to give you a child. You may want a child. I cannot let you bring a destiny just to prove a point. What then happens when the point has been proven? Oh God, give me a jeep to shame my enemies. God said, it's too small a reason for me to bless you. Make me a millionaire to silence the mouth of wicked men. God says, it's still too small. A time came, Anna said, Lord, 
I realize I've been selfish. Here is a new proposal. You need a prophet. Can my womb birth that man child? And God said, deal, done. Once she prayed, once she prayed, and a prophet came. I'll tell you the reason why God does not do business with us. We use God, hear me please, the Holy Ghost is speaking. We use God as a ladder to come out of shame, to come out of pain, to come out of inferiority. Lord, I want anointing. He says, why? He said, my contemporaries need to know your hand is upon my life. God says, you are joking. You will never, never carry two grades. Lord, I want to get married. Why? Because I, I want to get out of the stigma of singleness. God said, my purpose for marriage is bigger than that. Lord, I want to be a millionaire. Why? There is a brother I need to prove wrong. Your life is too long to live just to prove a point. And God says, when I look at your life, I don't see your obsession for my agenda. There is nothing eternal in the motivations of your pursuit. Are we together? I told God something. Anything you give me, and I'm saying it now, I don't care what it is. If you cannot find where you'll be glorified to it, may it never come to my life. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. The Lord Jesus is not a fool. He's not a stupid person. You don't come to him praying, rattling in tongues, whereas in your heart, God already knows that if I give this man one million, I will never get his attention again. Again. God has done it before. There are people he opened up doors for and he watched. His intention was to bless you more than that. But the little he gave, he kept watching. And right now our lives are Ichabod, the departure of the glory. Hallelujah. If there is any message I want you to get today, this is not a message for men of God. It's a message for those who want to be used mightily by God. There are so many things God wants to do with us. But you must get to that point of obsession where first, your love for God, please listen, listen, I beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, until your love for God supersedes your desires, you will never find the hand of God in your life. Lord, I hate poverty. And since I found out in the Bible that coming close to you will make me rich, I now come close to you as a means to an end. You will never be prosperous that way. Hallelujah. Listen, I speak especially to us, the young people. Don't allow what is happening in society to fool you. You are not the first to live your life. You are not the first to be blessed or to be prosperous or to pursue success. There is no true success outside of Christ. Not just going to church and trying to be nice. Seriousness. Sisters have challenged you. Don't marry anybody that is not serious with God. With traceable transformation. No matter what he tells you. He can have all the jeeps, all the whatever it is. But any man that has passion for the things of the Lord. You know, our society has a, a very insulting way of trivializing godliness. Right? No matter what else you have. If you don't have God, it's a waste. But our society has taken it the other way around. If you have God, no matter what else you don't have, they think you are not successful. This is how much he means to us. Why should I keep what people say? For they don't know what you mean to me. They don't know what you mean to me. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. Listen.
listen get to a point in your life where your entire desire is to see him lifted if god makes you a millionaire businessman you are a minister in business not a sunday christian doing every other thing where when god empowers you it is for his kingdom are we together if god gives you intellectual prowess is for his kingdom he gives you beauty for his kingdom thank you sir he gives you money is for his kingdom he gives you influence is for his kingdom listen if god knows you will not withhold his glory he will not withhold his hand from you too i am amazed i am amazed to see the little that god has been able to do through my life you know when i see it people send me all kinds of texts man of god apostle of our generation and i just look at the text and laugh for you are god alone from before time began you are on your throne you are god I'm not interested in anything in this life that I cannot find how it will glorify God. If you cannot show me how it will glorify God, I'm not interested. I don't care what it is. You must get to that point where your life, you donate your life to be a promoter of his interest. Anywhere you get to, you find out, Lord, how are you going to be lifted here? He said, if I if your life is committed to lifting me there is nothing i will not give you if your life is committed to lifting me i will take you beyond every territorial background ah it was it was nathaniel that said can anything good come out of nazareth try donating your life to god and see the wonder he will make out of your life my life is a wonder my mom called okay well she didn't call but she sent me a text oh by the way my mom said she's praying for everyone and that your prayers will be answered throughout this fasting period my mom is a very anointed woman anointed indeed she's been following in the fasting praying also she was listening to the message i think it was yesterday's message and she was just weeping and i told her you've not seen anything yet if you think you were a failure in life you succeeded in giving birth to me and that's enough reason to be a success forever koinonia come to a point tonight where jesus becomes the focal point the pivot of your life listen there is no such thing as church life and then real life you know people do that this is church they say look look when in rome behave like the romans do it's not in your bible you have to be careful i'm a child of god anywhere right so you pick up your phone and you put a a gospel song and when it is ringing in a business meeting you quickly off it so that it doesn't embarrass you because you want to be neutral jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men please hear me koinonia if you are ashamed of me before men he said i'll be ashamed of you before my father my appetite and my addiction for god i don't know what he did to me i've been captured by a love i can't explain now you have me and i'm forever changed i've abandoned everything i've ever known now i surrender this life is not my own I belong to you I belong to you I belong to you I belong
must get to that point. That's the first thing I want you to learn. Come to a point where you are not just born again, but you are addicted. So you see a pretty lady like this, and it's easy to believe that because she's fine, my dear, if your beauty, if God cannot see how your beauty directly glorifies him, is nonsense, is useless as far as the agenda of God is concerned. Are we together? Everything, not just your education, everything that constitutes an advantage in your life must have a direct bearing. If you do this, I show you the secret of unbeatable greatness. God will bring you out of, bless you my dear, every storm and put you in a position of notoriety because he knows that your being there is for his namesake. Is God blessing us tonight? One of the things we are going to be crying as we round up this period, awesome period of fasting and prayer. I was talking to the Lord yesterday. I said, Lord, look at what you have done with your child. So many people say all kinds of things. During my birthday, I was so honored last year. We had delegates from over 16 nations calling in to say, look, this is what your teachings are doing, changing people. That's what God can do when you believe him. When you really love God, you will not have time for pride and arrogance. It's not the issue of, I want to be, I'm stopping it. There is a revelation that threatens you to humility at all times. All times. It's a revelation. That's why I run away from all these kinds of things. Because I've seen the deceitfulness of man. He will celebrate you and stab you when you fall. People can clap you into death. So every time they clap, God says, remember you are an usher. Remember our prayer and fasting. And so you lead them and say, there is one who is mightier than I and I'm not embarrassed. I'm not embarrassed to know that I am not here for myself. Listen, this is what Jesus said. I can of my own do nothing. The word of God speaking so helpless, I can of my own do nothing. Brothers and sisters, everything you see behind this small life that you see is a product of God's grace is the reward of addiction to the kingdom it's not so much my wisdom the Bible says let the wise man not glory in his wisdom right let the strong man not glory in his strength they say but let him that glory yet glory in this many years ago the Lord told me my only promise to you is my presence God never promised me a car he never promised me fame he never promised me crowd. All he promised me was his presence. And he has kept that promise. If nothing else works in my life, I cannot blame God. The promise he made was his presence. And Moses said, if your presence go not with us, he said, we will not depart from here. For how shall they know that we are a separate people? The presence of God is the mystery behind the magnificent things God is doing in and through this ministry. And tonight, I'll share two more things and then we are going to pray. And say, Lord, I not only give you my heart, I give you my life. There is a big difference between giving God your heart and giving God your life. We used to sing a song, remember, my lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. Don't play it. It says, when, Abi, if I give God my lifetime, he will take care of me. Now, that song is not a good bargain for many people. Because they said, Lord, I gave you my lifetime. And I saw the way you shredded me into pieces. We have this idea that when we walk to, with God, we will be cheated. No. no. Godliness is profitable. Having the reward here in this life and in the life to come. Number two. The second thing that I want to challenge us is to have a passion for understanding. Please say after me, understanding. Those outside, are you with us? Shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Understanding. The Bible says, in all thy getting, get understanding. Understanding tells you the dynamics on how a thing works. Listen. A Jimmy's wife made this beautiful cake. I know the ingredients to make a cake, but I don't understand how it works. 
at least I know that you need flour, you need egg, you need uh, uh, all the other things. Are we together? But she understands how to work. If you want to make fried rice, I may know how to make fried rice, but I'm not sure I understand it. I know in that fried rice there should be rice. There should be liver. My friend is helping me. There should be liver. Carrots. Now listen. But do I know how much of liver? No. Do I know when to put the liver? No. If you give me all those ingredients, let me tell you what I'll do. I will mix everything at once and close it. And the next time I open that pot, I'm lifting it. I don't cook. I don't cook. It's not my ministry. That's the reason why I'm determined to be successful. Because I know that when I'm successful, that lapse will be covered in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, but let, let's get back to our point understanding listen we know many things but we do not know how to combine them to be successful you know there is a place of destiny help us you know there is a place of fasting and prayer are we together you know there is a place of warfare you know there is a place of giving and sacrifice but do you know how to combine them to produce an unbeatable life we need to pray for understanding it's not everything that is just the blood of Jesus it's not everything that is just prayer for instance finances is not just the issue of prayer prayer gives you wisdom finances is a covenant it's an understanding right he said thou shalt remember the lord thy god for it is he that giveth thee the power the anointing the unction to prosper there is such a thing the bible says and i will give you the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places you know that what it takes to do ministry there is a place for leadership and organization. There is a place for the anointing, right? There is a place for people's skills. There is a place for endurance and persistence. There is a place for, for um, competence in the world. But do you know how to combine them together? Many of us right now, our problem is not ignorance. Our problem is understanding of the operation of the systems of the kingdom. How to make things work is really revelation not that you are aware knowing what god has said is not revelation knowing how to make it produce results in your life consistent results is understanding tell your neighbor get understanding this is what we have been doing we've been praying and fasting and we have been taking a thought a dimension of the keys of the kingdom just approaching it, the place of power, the place of destiny help us, the place of favor. You must passionately pray and ask the Lord to give it to you as a personal revelation. Lord, show me. If you were to draw a pie chart for me, how much percentage of my life should be dedicated in building relationships? How many should be dedicated in the place of knowledge? How much should be dedicated in warfare? There are people who all they do in their life is to fight warfare. They fight warfare until they are frustrated. They hold night vigils every day. You see, they have stretched the truth beyond its limit of operation. The truths in the kingdom are dimensional. It only profits you when you apply the kingdom uh, within the confines of its relevance. That it is truth does not mean it's applicable anyhow. You must define the boundaries to which his application becomes relevant. Are we together? There is a place tithing and giving holds in kingdom wealth. But it's not just tithing and giving alone. Are we together now? Yeah. If all you do is tithe and give, favor will come. But you do not have wisdom. A house is not built by favor. Through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established he said through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasure so we need to know how to combine the correct ingredients and you will make for an unbeatable life number three maybe i'll just say that and then i'll stop there number three 
I have emphasized it again and again. The Bible says, for as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Listen, there is the place of your mentality, your mindset, your paradigm. Mindsets are conditionings. Mindsets are perspectives. Mindsets are opinions. Mindsets are constructions. Planes, perspectives of judgment. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5, let this mind, there was an understanding, there was a, a mental state that Jesus was in. That's why he succeeded. And the Bible says, permit it to be in you in the same way it was with Jesus Christ. When God called Abraham, he was a man who was in a place called Ai of the Chaldeans. He was an idol worshiper. And based on his mindset and understanding, there were certain things that were impossible. And God needed to stretch his mind. Look at me, please. You can get my message pulling down strongholds. I have seen as a leader, as a man of God, how many great people potentially have been limited because they cannot tear that mental barrier to give them space to be used by God. Scattered among us here are all kinds of people. Hallelujah. Please, I need two people here. Where is promise? Where is Charles? Charles protocol. Can you come? Please, quickly. Hallelujah. I want to use them as an example. Wherever he is, if he's within reach, let him come. I want to use him as an example. If your mindset does not change, your life cannot move forward. Please, this is not some psychology, sociological reality. Unfortunately, we come from backgrounds where there are conditionings over our minds. There are people, for instance, who have been taught. Listen, there are people who have been taught that you will never succeed. You will never amount to anything. You came from a background where everybody was a failure. And that conditioning has been there i am a failure i don't expect to succeed i don't expect things to work for me do you know the bible says in psalms i think 78 41 or so it says they limited him in the wilderness hallelujah i want to use these two gentlemen please don't be offended i've used them again and again because they are great people where is francis can you join him please francis your friend where is he? Come, 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 quickly. Appreciate him. Do you mind if I share your testimony again? <laughs> Look what he's doing. <laughs> Hallelujah. I spoke to you about this guy. He came to Zaria with dreadlocks. Dreadlocks and earrings. That's how he came into the city. Can you imagine? This is the assistant head of prayer, dep <laughs> the prayer department. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Believe me. He was not a bad boy. He was a victim of an understanding. Because he probably grew up in an environment and where he was schooling before, the occult groups taught that if you were a capon, right, then they associated violence and rebellion with greatness. Listen, life is always proposing an ideology to you about a true definition of success and you must return to the word of God and re-edit your template your value system look at his life right now a testament of a transformed mind let me tell you a very funny story thank you sir this gentleman you mind if I share your testimony now let me tell you how he came to this ministry he saw a lady that he liked he was an occultist came all the way from another state listen oh he's very born again i can tell you born again and successful and wealthy as a matter of fact hallelujah he saw a lady one of my ladies and saw her and said ah you know all these occultic things and so on and so forth and as he followed her she gladly led him just keep coming he was like a sheep to the slaughter not knowing what was going to happen to him listen that's beauty used for the kingdom. 
I'm not saying you go to a beer parlor and tell somebody, follow me. God did not send you there. Let me balance it up front. Because I can't assume, in our generation today, you must explain everything. Everything. Praise the Lord. And this is what happened. It was you that brought him, right? Now, this guy came that night. He got born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, transformed completely that night. His friends gave him seven days to return back to his lifestyle. Seven days have become over six or seven years or thereabout. Never to return again. He was so impacted. He went and dragged this one and said, just come. Are we together now? I'm not sure this guy had an idea what was going to happen to him. And he dragged him and brought him. Let me tell you what happens in this place. You are first saved and the next mission is your mental transformation. Until your ideology is changed, you are not really born again. Believe me when I tell you this. See what God has made. They are serving in the body, doing great things for the kingdom. These are the guys responsible for your bosses. They have a direct... Did you know he could not speak Hausa? But he speaks Hausa right now because he had to learn it so that he will be effective as the, as the boss coordinator. Can you imagine that? That's passion for the kingdom. And I pray, guys, may God bless you. I love you with all my heart. May God bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Who is your life changing? From the time they came into your life, have their understandings changed? Now, you see, we, we, that you are well-meaning does not mean you are transformed. Separate being nice societally. I don't steal... I don't kill, I don't fornicate. It's not the same as transformation. Transformation is the process that makes you like Christ. And it is not a gift, it's a reward. You will labor to get into that state. Transformation requires admitting that something about your thinking is destroying your life. There are people who are born again, but they are greedy. There are people who are born again, but they are angry. I counsel a lot of people. And sometimes you see couples. I remember one couple, very interesting. Uh, I mean, and they had been married for a while. Not just two years, five years. And they fought. They fought. Police had to come and stop them. So two of them said they were coming to report themselves. And they booked for counseling. Husband and wife. Two of them sat down. Madam, what's the problem? This man does not respect me. And she was just landing it. And the man kept quiet. When I finished, said, man of God, you have seen what made me beat this woman. And the truth is both of them love themselves. But everybody was coming with the idea of his territory. Somebody told that guy, when you beat your wife, she will respect you. Are you getting that information? He stored it in his pocket. Somebody told the lady, if you are weak to a man, he will disrespect you. If he punches you, you roll your hand and punch him back. So listen, all of them are executing their ideologies. There are pastors who believe they are thinking is that if you want to be rich, be a pastor. Because you will receive prophets, offering, etc. You see that? So, their ideology led them to fast for 40 days. They created names. They created protocol. Are we together now? Very important. Listen. Let this mind that I have labored and I still do with all my heart. I don't trust myself outside of the word of God. I don't even know what I can become. I started a project years ago not a project to become a preacher because when I contrasted the word of God to my mindset I was, I was messed up in almost everything my understanding of leadership my understanding of ministry my understanding of almost everything the pastors that trained me did not teach me prosperity was a blessing from God they sang songs like Take the world and give me Jesus. No, no, I won't sing that song at all. I, I, my heart is to God, but I realize that prosperity is an important tool in kingdom building. And I will never mislead you. I'm not apologetic about it. Poverty and prosperity, which one is better? Don't let a poor man who has never been blessed carry his stumbling block and come to you and tell you, see how simple my life is. You are, if you are healed, you are healed for yourself. If you are saved, you are saved for yourself. Only prosperity is shareable. That's why Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church. The gospel is free, 
but the means to carry it to the lost is not free are we together now yeah. your mindset something about your village something about the thinking your upbringing there are ladies here for instance our mothers though well-meaning and sincere have taught us that when you want to get money from a man do a b c men are very stupid people this is how to collect money from them you are born again you pray in tongues but that mindset is still in you are we together there are people who still do what i call traditional christianity they love god but when the going gets tough they call you and say come home and you know what that means come home means revisit your roots and you go back and they give you your husband in a bottle they carve clear and put it inside and say for as long as you are holding this bottle this is your husband do with him as you please i have counseled people who brought charms i mean they removed it and said man of god i won't lie to you this is it i said what is this for say for money and i said but you don't look rich meaning it's not working <laughs> oh or this one is for um I, I remember counseling some ladies now this is not to condemn you true story they may even be here don't feel offended some ladies who said they, they went was it zaria city to collect something true story something like a powder or something you you rub it i don't know if it's the, you rub it or bath with it and any man that sees you no matter what is except is really born again indeed with a track record in the spirit otherwise he will follow you like a sheep and i looked at them i said you mean this is what you are doing to yourself something in your mind is limiting your destiny right now hallelujah i began a project to change my mind there were some things i never saw growing up i knew that if i needed to be a global leader there was a thinking africa teaches us to be mediocres and failures our mentality in africa is comparing with our, ourselves with ourselves they say i'm a family of seven people and right now i'm the first person to buy a pujo and we keep making noise over it whereas god is saying there are great things i want to do with you please that mindset must die tonight there are even territories associated with certain levels of mediocrity have you heard people say that men from this place they are irresponsible women from this place they are uh, uh, what they are, they are immoral you can change that in the name of jesus christ I know that the people from from my village the core people in the village i grew up knowing that they used to drink drink seriously why i don't know but i reject that testimony count me out i'm not part of it are we together now don't say because i grew up seeing it happen you grew up seeing people oppress people to be blessed but you're going to change and say no my mind has changed my mind has changed based on the power of the word of God I found out that Jesus was not the Jesus that was taught in the Bible the Jesus pastors preach as a wicked cruel God out to kill and destroy people but my Bible says it is the thief that comes to steal and kill and to destroy I never give up on people no matter what has happened because the Bible says there is hope for a tree he said at the scent of water never give up on people We are going to pray but i'm challenging us especially with the young people there is a mindset we must change and the bible says by the truth by the truth something about your conditioning will make you fail in life if you don't change it something about your understanding may make you a bad father a bad mother that you are well-meaning is not enough you must have the mind of christ please lay your hands on your head and say in spite of the mindset of my culture in spite of my background in spite of the limitations of nigeria and my territory i change my mindset i declare that i come from a kingdom that is foreign to this earth and I refuse to be limited in the name of Jesus years ago when God was showing me the visions of the things that are happening today 
I saw these things and they were great. And brothers and sisters, half of this have not even come to pass. What you see now is child's play. It's just one step out of the cave. Hallelujah. And God showed me these things. But he was waiting for me to agree with him. Please come, Ejimi. Listen. This is God saying, Ejimi, see how far. He said, as far as your eyes can see. But Ejimi is standing. Oh, I come from a background. I come from a Jebode. There is a limitation. There are all kinds of things. And God is saying, I can do so much with you. I can smash that barrier. You say, Lord, I went to school at 25. When my colleagues are doing masters, that's when I'm passing jam. And God is saying, no. Abraham started his ministry almost 75 years old. Are we together? Change your mindset. Change your mindset. Change your mentality. Change your understanding. I made up my mind. Listen. I made up my mind that there are things Africa will never limit in my life. There are things in my mind and beyond the spheres of this place. It's not pride. It's the truth. I didn't get it just by prayer. He said, I, Daniel, understood by books. There is a labor of knowledge. I've studied the largest churches in every continent. Studied them carefully. Forbes list of billionaires. I've studied all of them one by one. It's not just prayer. Please, I'm telling you, you must agree that something you know is limiting you. When it was time to set up Covenant University, Bishop Oyeniko sent delegates to comprehensively study Cambridge, Yale, Harvard, right? And, and which Oxford, I think these four or five top universities. And then he now added a kingdom dimension to their limitation and said this becomes a structure of our, our university. Koinonia is patterned after an understanding. There is somewhere we are going. We have seen that it's possible to combine the anointing with excellence. And we are striving to increase. That you, you should not choose one and leave the other. God wants to do great things with you. And today he's asking you, do you believe? I used to say it when we used to meet um, on the floor that time we did not even have mat on the floor that we are all going to be great in this life and the beautiful part is that we will all know ourselves people of God there is more that God wants to do say there is more that God can do with my life I refuse to be a local champion say it I refuse to be a local champion Ejimi's wife had been making cakes long before she got married. She's been making cakes but she made up her mind that she wanted to be world class. And I got to find out that all her time in Lagos she had dedicated this is an economist. But because this was the area of her passion she started taking certifications UK based certifications and all kinds of certifications to be extraordinary. The fruit of it is what we are seeing today. Who is ready to pay you for your transformation? Have you been so developed that you become priceless? This can't be it. God is so much bigger than this. Prophesy to yourself, this can't be it. This can't be it. He is so much bigger than this. So he's calling you deeper. That's what he's saying. Deeper. 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 He's calling you deeper. Deeper. He's calling you deeper. You know why we are not celebrating koinonia now my concept of birthdays is not that you were born is that you are living out the purpose for being born i am personally convinced that nobody has a right to celebrate birthday until you know why you are on earth and your life is experientially blessing people 
a day will come we'll make noise about koinonia when we build the schools remember i told you about our schools my goodness bring your children to our schools yes we're adding three extra courses spiritual growth a course called koinonia and financial intelligence every student they will learn it from primary school <laughs> hallelujah yes part of spiritual growth will introduce a program called honesty morality and conscience we have a society that numbs conscience you kill somebody and say it does not matter the end justifies the means no sir a christian the process to the result is as important as the result when we launch the tv stations and we are doing great things we can turn and then pat our back now we we'll lie to ourselves because compared to where god is taking us it's a step out of the cave people are already clapping and i told god block my ears in jesus name block my ears you need to learn to challenge yourself raise standards don't say i'm better than somebody no that's a foolish way of progress the bible says and they comparing themselves with themselves are not wise we used to sing a song when we were preparing for our crusade ask and i'll give the nations to you listen if you wanted me to cry raise that song that was the song that brought tears from my eyes because every time they raised the song i saw nations the bible didn't say you are a village it said you are a city you may start from where you are but don't die where you are you started from zaria oh my father is a carpenter my mother was frying a cara so what the bible says ask for the nations and i will give you i'm speaking to people here we're going to pray ask and i'll give the nations to you oh lord that's the cry of my heart distant shores and the islands we see your eyes as it rises on us one more time ask and i'll give the nations to you Oh Lord, that's the cry of my heart. Distant shores and the islands will see your light as it rises. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Listen, you must challenge yourself to be exceptional. Listen, listen. Sandra just came in this evening. I was very touched when she came in. Something very remarkable happened. This lady you are seeing within three months has done three jobs. She works directly with the house of assembly. It's not about lobbying. It's the power of competence and the keys of the kingdom. It was their official card that brought her to Zaria. But people say there is no job. It depends on what your understanding is. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. Don't let this country cheat you. People are shouting the dollar, the pound. Even those who have never seen it are already victims of it. hallelujah it was a humorous story please permit me to share one of her former bosses where she was working started doing some funny things like wanting to sleep with her or something and, and you know all you know all these men that behave as if their heads are not correct may god punish anyone that wants to destroy the destiny of anybody in the name of jesus christ you are entitled to one wife and God designed it to be enough. Anything more than that, you need deliverance. Say amen. amen. If there's anybody, our fathers, mothers, who are planning another marriage in the name that is above all names, we cancel it right now. Amen. Hallelujah. I just felt like pressing that one in so that we don't let it just pass like that. And listen, the moment... Thank you very much she has an understanding that you cannot be disadvantaged it's a mentality as that one was trying to play all of that nonsense another one came born again honorable member and he looked at her in 24 hours she got a new job upgraded with salary and everything brothers and sisters listen this thing will work for you if you know how to work it if if you think what is happening people are just talking no sir I think it was Pastor Alpha when you started your PhD. They get, 
I mean, he was he was challenging over scholarship and this. But you can see him coming here. He's doing his PhD, and he's on. I think you're on scholarship. He's on scholarship from University of Jos, and he's just enjoying life. See, I like you to say it must happen differently with me. Refuse that thing of 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 the way it's happening to everybody. No, there is an anointing upon you. Remember, there is an anointing upon you. Please, we are going to rise up and we'll pray. We are rounding this up. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. I'm on my way to better days. Status is changing. Status is changing. It's no more decline. It's no more decline. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to better days. The Lord is sharing you. My status is changing. It's no more decline. I'm on my way to that day. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. On my way. points i like us to pray please let's have the communion we have to be very fast because i want to speak there are destinies that must open up today hallelujah prayer point number one lord a fresh passion for you beyond money faith ministry business going on here lift your voice and pray lord a fresh passion a fresh passion Shake it back at Baba Baba Baba. Come on, you pray. Shake it back at the very rocks. A fresh passion. You, O oh Lord, at my desire. I desire you more than my necessary food. Oh, better is one day in your house than a thousand elsewhere. Pray. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 5. Hallelujah. Revelation 5. Please, I'd like us to be sensitive. The communion is a mystery. Jesus said, Except ye eat of my body and drink of my blood he said you cannot have my life the communion is a mystery we're going to do we'll be very very fast as soon as we do this our prayer request as instructed by god now we'll collect it in twofold but that's Maybe when we are praying, we'll be doing that so that we can have it. Ushers, please make sure you get ready. The ones that represent your challenges, according to Exodus 14, 14. I'd like you to pass it first because we are going to burn it right now. That's the instruction that the Lord gave, please. And then the ones that represent your testimonies. When you give that one, I'll ask you to forward that one and we'll pray on it here. Just like we do the miracle service. Please, ushers, quickly. Quickly, you have to be very fast. Our time is gone. While you're holding it, I'd like you to begin to pray and say the blood of Jesus is ending this captivity in my life forever. Please pray from the depth of your heart. Pray. The Bible says the natural man does not understand the things of the spirit for they are spiritually discerned. The Lord gave us an instruction. Please just pass it round. The one that represents challenges, pass it to the last person so that the ushers will receive it. Just the challenges, just the challenges. There are two requests. Your expectations, your challenges, pass the challenges very quickly.
Hallelujah. Revelations 5 verse 12. Saying with a loud voice. Worthy is the lamb. Not worthy is the king. Not worthy is Jesus. There is a dimension he used to purchase these things for us. And is that dimension as a lamb. The lamb that was what? Slain. It was on account of his being slain. On account of his blood. Worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive. He has received for us. Power. Riches. Wisdom. Strength. Honor. Glory. And blessing. Notice it did not say blessings. It says blessing. Now look up please. I want you to be sensitive. The blessing is an operation of the Holy Spirit upon a man's life. Please listen. The blessing is different from blessings. The blessing is an operation of the Holy Spirit. It's like an anointing. When it comes upon your life like a mantle, the assignment of the blessing is to compel creation to respond to you as though you were in the Garden of Eden. Please listen. When God made man, he blessed them. When the flood came, God blessed Noah. It was, it was um, Isaac that said, make me venison that I will eat, that my soul will rejoice, that I may bless you. What did he give Jacob? That when Esau came, he said, there's nothing left. How did he know it had left him? Listen, the blessing is transferable. You can carry it bodily. God opened my eyes to this revelation and it surprised me. Hallelujah. The blessing does three things. Number one, it attracts people, it attracts resources, and it attracts opportunities. Never forget this. The blessing on you mysteriously but undeniably begins to attract people he said, all men seek for thee. That's what they told Jesus. All men seek for thee. The blessing can make your critics bless you. Although they are talking against you. The blessing can make people you do not know. He said, your gates shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. And say, Lord, as I partake of this communion, Every, every pronouncement, every cause of negativism over my life, the blessing will take it away today forever. Lift your voice and pray, please. Lift your voice and pray. The blessing is coming upon me. Blessing will change my life. The blessing will veto the limitations of my background and take me to another dimension. Please pray. Be a believer. It doesn't take time. It takes the principles of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to bless the communion. This is ordinary wine and wafers. But the Bible says, is this not the cup of the blessing? The cup of the blessing. There is a mystery. It gives you access to receive that mantle. I have seen the blessing work. I know it works. Hallelujah. Now we have to be very fast. There are several overflows. And please, I need you to cooperate with all the people leading there. We're going to be very, very fast. You will come, pick the cup and the wafers and drop it. If there's anyone under the anointing, ushers, please, as they fall under the anointing, shift them away so that we can hurry up on this. We have just about 10 or so minutes to do this because we need to prophesy. Something must come upon your life. Hallelujah. Immediately after that, please prepare. 
while worship is going on we'll raise a high praise for two to five minutes and then we'll burn those things and we'll speak father in the name of jesus this is ordinary wafers i stretch my hands over this and the ones outside in all of the overflows one two three outside down to the roadside let this lose its earthly significance as wafers and wine i pray the bible says in hosea chapter 12 it says i have multiplied visions i have spoken to you through the prophets he said i have used similitudes may the power of the highest the power that is responsible for performance come upon these wafers come upon this wine in the name of jesus that everyone who partakes by faith may they step into a strange order of the blessing in the name of jesus god bless you there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of jesus Come and just take some of your seats. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. Please, everyone should partake of the communion. Everyone, including children, if you can give them, please give it to them. God bless you. Can we hope? We have to be very fast. Please, very fast. Just pick one and then make your way very quickly. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. To break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power, there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in They will break, break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Hallelujah. What's happening there? Why the delay? Please stand back. Let our parents come through the call. You are just watching. You should direct them, please. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. There's an army. There's an There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. They will break every chain. 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 Casting crowns. It's what I've come to do. Lifting hands, bowing hearts. all we've come to do. Cast the crown. Lifting hands, bowing hearts. you return to your seat i like you to begin to pray in tongues pray in tongues for what is coming upon you pray in tongues in the spirit go ahead and begin to pray as you return back to your seat please we have to be fast just pick the wine the bread and then you can give way for others there is an anointing upon it
Please, as you walk, just come out very fast. We have to be very fast. Beautiful you are. Wonderful you've been. You are glorious. Faithful in all your ways. My help and my reward. You are glorious. My God, beautiful you are, wonderful you be. You are glorious. You are glorious. Faithful in all your ways, my help and my reward. You are glorious. Please pray and say, Lord, something must land upon my life tonight. An anointing must come upon me. An unction from the Holy One must swallow up every challenge in my life. Pray like a believer that you are. Pray like a believer that you are. You are able to change the stories of men, oh God. You are able to change the stories of men.
strength of my life. Hallelujah. If the communion is yet to come, just be patient and pray. You can take the bread and just be patient. Please, if the welfare need help, can we have some hands to help them? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I command the gates that hold the next level of my life be open now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Please pray from your heart. Command the gates. Command the gates. Kapa shuparadaba. Zigetekete pras karababa. Sopere kutosho pretis kalaba. Brands kaparato shoto pretekete. Gates be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open. In the name of Jesus, be open in the name of Jesus, be open in the name of Jesus, be open in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say after me in the name of Jesus, every cause of hardship, my family my loved ones by the mystery of the blood I bring it to an end right now lift your foot and begin to pray the cause of hardship the cause of pain the cause of sorrow the cause of pain the cause of sorrow the cause of pain, the cause of sorrow. loved ones we bring it to an end we bring it to an end. We bring it to an end. By the power of God, we bring it to an end. In the name of Jesus, we bring it to an end. In the name of Jesus, we bring it to an end. We bring it to an end. By the power of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, every covenant I enter into, knowingly or knowingly, is responsible for the failure in my life. going to take authority over every sickness every strange manifestation in your body the bible says your body know ye not that your body is the temple of the holy spirit every tree that has not been planted my father must be a root tonight Infirmity. Leave my body in the name in the name of Jesus. No sickness. I 
HIV must leave HIV fight right now it must go Hex. we change you know, from FM to FM blackness blackness we challenge Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing the sound of padlocks. That's what I'm hearing in my ears. Please, I like you to be very sensitive now. I want to pray for you, inside and outside. We have prayed. The number eight stands for new beginning. It must leave you. Everything that has not been by the ordinances of heaven it must leave you right now lift your hands as i pray for you i tell you the fire of god will fall in this place please shift all these things our time is almost up but we must deal with these things when i finish praying at the count of three i like you to shout jesus with all your heart i hear sounds like an opening of a padlock This apostolic anointing, every gate, every altar, every destiny, every family, of the bridge, of the yokes, every fraternity, the activities of necromancers, the necromancers, destinies, I declare that I Hallelujah. I see at least 30 ladies, 30, 30 sisters, strange things that come to you in the night as you sleep. Right now, as I begin to pray, the fire will begin to set you free. Right now, Lord, 30 of them, at least you are waiting. Entity.
the power of God is still falling. I see God doing a lot of things with ladies. Ladies especially. Ladies. Sisters. Sisters. Strange spirits that oppress the destinies of people. Strange spirits that tie down people. Sisters at the count of three. As you shout Jesus, I see the being of hallelujah please lift your hands the Lord is showing me the cause of death over certain families I see at least 13 families it's like a mantle people die strangely keep your hands lifted I'm about to pray right now father wherever you are right now your spirit Shout that name Jesus at the count of three. I'm seeing chains of people's foot outside. Chains. And to release you from to live. Three. find them hallelujah I want to pray for you this is an impartation now this is not deliverance this is going to come mighty on many of us listen there is an anointing that makes men succeed you have prayed there is an anointing that makes men succeed bring this gentleman this is madness that's what I'm saying. Leave him right now. I command you. You must go. Right now. And never return. Restore the fortunes of his family. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. For there is a name that is above every other name. Let him go free in the name of Jesus. Please. If you miss this, you have wasted your fast. This is the time I want you to open up your heart. We have to suspend the number. Of, help them please so they don't enjoy themselves. We have to suspend the number of things right now. Because we are supposed to be praying on the request. I don't want to keep us too long here. But you have to receive this. There is an empowerment that can change a man's life. Please listen. Hear me when I tell you there is an anointing that can change a man. It's not by might. It's not by power. I want you to receive this with all your heart. There will be a mighty impartation. Lift your hands. Father, there is nothing I have that did not come from you. Your people have fasted. They have prayed. It's time for them to enter unusual levels of accomplishments. I stand upon this election of grace. According to the measure of the gift of Christ in my life, at the count of three, 
let the heavens be open and let there be strange impartations For the heads of department please where are you quickly just come up here there is an anointing upon me don't stop don't stop be sensitive please in the name of jesus you will step into strange levels of grace join them it's not by might it's not by power in the name of jesus greater fire greater grace step into new dimensions of wisdom fire in the name of jesus drink of the of the spirit greater levels greater fire in the name of jesus greater fire can i pray for you a new level of what 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 said the spirit of i bring you to a new level a new dimension of what and grace in the name of jesus please lift your hands I pray you. they are not seen to pray is going to hit some of you like a tornado. My God, stand up. I want to release it upon you. Not something you beg for. There is a mantle. The Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I pray for you. At least. I see a fresh unction for psalmistry. Hold your hands. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the instrumentals to everybody. Right now, that fire comes on you. One by one, as I stretch my hands. to you everything that was lost shall be returned to you everything that was stolen shall be restored to you everything that was lost hallelujah Ralph lift your hands there is a mantle of success coming upon you right now Touch it right now in the name of Jesus Christ you will never be the same you're a military man you're a pastor but God is about to distinguish you. I see a connection with generals. Generals in the army. The Lord is saying that's what he's doing for you. He will do it by his spirit. He will do it by his grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where are they? Okay, come Victor quickly. Yerima, come quickly. Okay, they are the heads of departments left. 
you will step into new levels it's not by power it's not by might step into that strange dimension of the spirit right now in the name of jesus new dimensions of creativity new dimensions of power new dimensions of power i pray for those who are students here hallelujah everyone here marked for death marked for death pastor Femi the Lord is visiting your family I see an altar of fire that's what I'm seeing an altar this altar has tied down your family I'm seeing particularly your father your father this altar has tied him down tied him down nothing he does prospers but the Lord is saying I'm changing it I'm changing it. Listen, I don't care what you have lost in the name that is above all names. I pray for you. Pursue, here nine months from now return with your miracle children every important man here return with your miracle children hallelujah two more prayer points and we're done i want to release this unction of favor there is an anointing for favor Please believe me you argue this life will punish you in a serious way there is an anointing for favor he said I will lose the loins of kings you will suck the breast of kings that's what the Bible says Lord I pray the mysterious anointing upon this ministry that commands unusual favor I pray for you wherever you are like fire it comes upon you now take it take it take it right now Receive it. Receive it inside out. Like a garment. Wait like a garment. Hallelujah. Now I want to release the blessing. My life is a product of the blessing. It's an operation of the spirit that attracts people. That's what is responsible for this crowd you're seeing. I cannot fully explain it, but I know that is dangerously mysterious. It's an anointing that gives you access, uncommon access. I have met kings. I have met politicians. I have met noble men. I have met billionaires. I have met strange men. Brothers and sisters, I will lie to you if I tell you it's just because my name is Joshua Selman. There is such an anointing. I want to release it upon you. It's called the blessing. I pray for you. My God and my King, I stand upon my bare foot tonight the name that is above all names as touching this anointing God has given me a count of three Yes. 
blessing. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. In one minute. I like us to pray for all our elderly ones who have come to honor us from the depth of your heart prophesy upon them pray for our mothers our fathers scattered all over here in one minute lord we multiply your grace we may not have time to do all of that our time is gone we are very very late but I want to pray here Exodus 16 14 14 don't turn there our time is gone when they got to the Red Sea listen the Egyptians were behind coming with fury and anger before them the Red Sea and they were afraid and Moses said fear not he says stand still and you will see the salvation of the Lord he said these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more I pray for you every challenge you wrote before the God of Israel I come tonight in the form of the book as it has been written that challenge see hallelujah I pray for your expectations tonight is the night of manifestation if you have it lift it up if you don't lift if you don't have it lift your hands please the Bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among men and we beheld its glory father I pray from the realm of the spirit there is a mystery of manifestation he said the spirit and the bride says come come to us the spirit and the word materializes things every please if you are holding even if it's for your loved ones don't worry just lift it to god i'm praying these expectations between now and the end of this month we turn them into testimonies Listen, your eyes have seen them, your ears have heard them. Now I command your hands to handle them. I command your hands to handle them. By the mystery of divine supply, there was a raven that brought food for Elijah at Brook Cherith. I don't care what needs to be done for these expectations to materialize. The power to make it happen. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. And one more time, I call your helpers. Helpers of your destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. From the north to the south, the east and the west. Wherever you are, between now and next week, show the life of God's people. Show the life of God's people. 
people I declare to you this is the least level you will ever be in life everything that has not been working in your life go back to it now I command you to walk I command you to walk everyone come jobless yeah between now and April no matter how long it has been we put a job in your hands by prophecy in the name Jesus everyone on any building project here that has been grounded the finishers are not in comes upon that project in the name of Jesus I pray for you beginning from tonight that mark of honor and greatness whoever sees your face I command them to bless you whoever looks upon your face I command the release of favor oh, you shall from today be called Beulah and Hephzibah you shall be called Beulah that one with that garden and Isaac blessed his son and he said the smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed I pray for you may a fragrance live your life tonight and attract everyone who should bless you in the name of Jesus lift your hands and give Jesus praise for tonight's service hallelujah very quickly you're worshiping with us tonight for the first time wherever you are please I'd like you to make your way forward inside and outside please clear the way for them in one minute you notice that for a few days we did not welcome our new people just one minute and we're out of here very quickly you're worshiping with us for the first time make your way god bless you quickly 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 while they come out let's listen to the following announcement while they come out please make your way there are so many people make your way to the front we want to bless you and speak over your lives now listen please i encouraged everyone listen please don't be distracted we're almost done i encouraged everyone was it on tuesday and when or wednesday when we considered sacrifice please i want you to tie a sacrifice not tonight go and ask the lord what is the demand the difference between an offering us and a seed is one is free will a seed is instructed hallelujah i like you to pray from the depth of your heart and say lord instruct me what seed am i going to tie and sow into this ministry into your work please this is not some human manipulation by the grace of god and with all humility god has been faithful to us and we're very responsible people but i would cheat you and i would deceive you and mislead you if after spending seven days from the first day we started this there is no day my seed has not been going speaking for me hallelujah the bible says the seed will bruise the head of the serpent the seed can bruise the head of the serpent so please i like you to agree with god for those who came with your seed if you came with your seed after the service the treasurer is here please listen aside from the finance department no one should act to, should ask you to give him money not online especially those online please tell them anybody asking you for money online in the name of the ministry is an arm robber it's a thief praise the lord just forward the details to the media department and they'll know how to deal with that issue we do not make any of such solicitations anybody using my face online just know that you are dealing with a fraudster and a thief i'm not even on social media so anybody you see is just a a, a faithful follower and if he misuses that opportunity may the god i serve punish him in the name of jesus christ amen and amen so please but you must make can you project the ministry's account number is that possible we have an official account number if you are making any seeds people have been asking me i know one of our mothers was asking me yesterday please any seed we do not do ministry seeds to personal accounts no don't send funds for ministry to my personal account no it's very wrong we have a ministry account and these are the details and so you can please take advantage of it make sure that you make a sacrifice involve your loved ones they may criticize you no problem when you get the results it will change your life forever so you can make your payments or you can meet the treasurer the finance department the ushers can help you 
after service in the name of Jesus. Let's honor those who are worshiping with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. This is Koinonia, a meeting put together by Eternity Network International, and we're five today. Amen and amen. So you are very blessed to be worshiping with us. We're here every Friday. We'll be here next week again, Friday. Do join us. The Lord is changing people, and he will take you from one dimension to the other. For those who came from far, you can go to our media stand, get teachings and all the resources that can bless you even as you go back in Jesus' name. We want to pray and speak over your life. I want you to know you will never be the same. Stretch your hands, saints of God, in one minute and let's prophesy over their lives. In the name of Jesus, we call you blessed. Go back with this grace. Go and reproduce it. May the hand of the Lord be with you. We plant in you a fresh passion for the things of the kingdom. Everything that is not consistent with the ways of the kingdom leaves your life forever. We bless you. Be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I'd like you to follow a gentleman. There's a lady there. They're all waving their hands. They'll have your details and will communicate to you. They'll welcome you more warmly on our behalf. God bless you and thank you. Thank you so much. Let's honor them once again. Hallelujah. All school of ministry students, classes resume after the long period of fasting. So 8 o'clock, please be in class and be praying. Um, I'll be in Kaduna tomorrow ministering at a church. For those of you who came uh, from Kaduna, you can find out more details with the protocol department. I trust that it will be an awesome time tomorrow in the name that is above all names. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's just allow them move out and then we'll rise up to share the grace. Um, about the ministry cake well I'm not sure it will go around but I assure you we will eat on your behalf hallelujah and um, as we eat just know that you are eating in us in the name of Jesus Christ but I would love welfare can you put at least a little piece for some of our mothers let's honor them I can't begin to mention names a dad prof you may not know them please honor them so many and I was told that there are so many people uh, Mrs. Ehoche, Mrs. Um, um, Onu, and um, Mrs. Eje, Mommy Eje, I was told. So I don't know if she's around or she's gone. Our daddy prof, there are so many people. Please bless them. I don't know if Madam Ladi is around also. Bless her. Bless every other person inside and outside. Please don't be offended if I didn't call your name. The Lord bless and honor you. I know uh, Mrs. Abejide is somewhere here too. Somewhere scattered. The Lord will bless and honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we rise up? Hallelujah. You walk into the manifestation of everything we have prayed for in the name of Jesus Christ. Beginning from tonight, your life becomes a circle of unending testimonies everything that has refused to multiply in your life it begins to multiply in the name of jesus christ after the grace i'd like you to hug 20 people and tell them it's another dimension the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god the sweet fellowship of the holy spirit be with us now and forevermore amen surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen god bless you see you next week Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.